Nikola Tesla was the visionary inventor behind the Tesla coil, AC motor, and remote control technology. He was not only a man of innovation, but also of mystery. However, as one delves deeper into the life of Nikola Tesla, the enigma surrounding him only grows. In his final years, he stumbled upon something that had to be hidden. What was Tesla hiding? What secrets did he take to the grave? Keep watching till the end to find out. Nikola Tesla was born in 1856 in a little village in modern-day Croatia. His dad was a Serbian Orthodox priest and his mum cared for the household. He was always drawn to science and tech and loved separating things to determine how they worked. He was a curious child who constantly asked questions and tried to learn more. After finishing primary school in Croatia, Tesla went to high school in Karlstadt, Austria, where he excelled in physics and math. His incredible abilities won him a scholarship to attend college at the Austrian Polytechnic in Graz. At the Polytechnic, Tesla continued to do well in his studies, but became frustrated with how his professors taught. They focused too much on theory and needed more on practical applications, which Tesla was interested in. He wanted to use his knowledge to solve real-world problems and create new technologies. Once he finished school, Tesla got a job at the Central Telegraph Office in Budapest, where he worked on improving communication systems. He became known as an amazing engineer and was eventually offered a job in Paris with the Continental Edison Company. In Paris, Tesla worked on improving dynamos, machines that generate electricity. His innovation significantly improved how efficient and powerful dynamos could be, and he became a leading expert in electrical engineering. The early years of Tesla's career were marked by his extraordinary talent in engineering and physics, which quickly gained him a prominent role at the Continental Edison Company in Paris. There, he continued to bring indoor incandescent lighting to the city and designed improved dynamos and motors. In 1884, with only four cents in his pocket, Tesla set sail for New York City armed with a glowing recommendation letter from his former boss, Charles Batchelor, addressed to Thomas Edison, the renowned inventor. Despite Edison's skepticism, he offered Tesla $50,000 to improve his DC generation plants after being impressed by his work. Tesla didn't disappoint, but when Edison refused to pay him, Tesla quit and took a job digging ditches. However, Tesla's ingenuity and persistence soon paid off. Word spread about his revolutionary AC motor, and the Western Union Company hired him to work in a lab near Edison's office. There, he designed AC power systems that are still used worldwide today, and the motors he built were exactly as he'd envisioned them, thanks to his remarkable ability to reproduce mental images into physical reality. Tesla's contributions to the field of electricity did not end there. He invented a powerful coil that generated high voltages and frequencies, creating neon, fluorescent, and x-rays. Furthermore, Tesla discovered that his coils could be used to send and receive radio signals, securing his 1897 American patents for radio transmission before Italian inventor Guglielmo Marconi. The Tesla vs. Marconi debacle Tesla was a genius inventor, but didn't need to be lucky in the patent game. After his lab was destroyed in a fire, he had to watch as a young Italian named Guglielmo Marconi swept in and stole his thunder. Marconi had built a device for wireless telegraphy and even used a Tesla oscillator to transmit signals across the English Channel. But Tesla wasn't one to bang down from a challenge. He filed his own radio patent applications and even beat Marconi with his 1897 American patents. The patent office even commented that the Tesla oscillator had become a household name. But despite all his hard work, Tesla's patent needed to be safer. In 1900, the Marconi Wireless Telegraph Company began thriving in the stock market, partly thanks to Marconi's family's connections with the English aristocracy. Edison and Andrew Carnegie even invested in Marconi, and Edison became a consulting engineer of American Marconi. Things were looking bleak for Tesla, but he remained confident and even said of Marconi, 
Let him continue. He's using 17 of my patents. But in 1904, the US Patent Office did the unthinkable and gave Marconi a patent for the invention of the radio. Tesla was beside himself with fury. He sued Marconi for infringement in 1915, but could not afford to sue the large company. It wasn't until 1943, several months after Tesla's death, that the US Supreme Court finally upheld his wireless patent number 645,576. The court had a selfish reason for doing so, of course. The Marconi Company was suing the US government for using its patents in World War I, and the court wanted to avoid the action by restoring the priority of Tesla's patent over Marconi's. It shows that even a genius inventor like Tesla can't only sometimes catch a break in the cutthroat world of patents. The beginning of the end for Nikola Tesla. This brilliant inventor struggled with funding his wireless projects and attempted to market his patents in 1906 with a demonstration of a 200-horsepower turbine. Unfortunately, commercial success was not on the cards for him and he even resorted to suing the Marconi company for patent infringement in 1915, which unfortunately went nowhere. Poor guy. By this time, Tesla was effectively bankrupt, and his reputation suffered as the media and Wall Street called him all sorts of unpleasant things, like a lunatic and a con man. To add insult to injury, his private lab went up in flames, destroying years of research notes and prototypes. But despite all of this, he still showed signs of obsessive-compulsive disorder and an intriguing fixation on cleanliness and the number three. With the patenting of his remote control boat, which wowed visitors at the 1898 Electrical Exposition at Madison Square Garden, Tesla gave what is now a seemingly self-fulfilling prophecy. He predicted that in the 21st century, robots would take the place that slave labor occupied in ancient civilizations. This was some serious, visionary brilliance on Tesla's part. He recognized the inevitable rise of automation and AI in a world far ahead of his time. While others were content with the status quo, Tesla boldly predicted a future in which machines would take center stage, pushing the limits of what was once thought possible. The Tesla discovery had to be hidden. Despite facing many challenges, he remained steadfast in the power of science and invention. One of his most intriguing claims was that he had received radio communications from Mars. While his story may have sounded like something out of science fiction, it captured the public's and the press's imagination. Tesla's discovery was made while conducting experiments concerning wireless energy transmission. He worked in a laboratory, specially constructed to carry out his experiments. Tesla's almost incredible discovery was picked up and reported broadly in the press. But while Tesla's alleged communications with Mars captured media attention, it could have captured more serious attention from scientists. According to Tesla, the summons was faint, but not to be mistaken. A new voice from a planet, millions of miles removed, was spoken over one of the myriads of unwired telephones of the universe. At first, the message was in a strange language, but Tesla was sure it would become clearer as time passed. He believed a beginning had been made, which was wonderful enough. Could there be more of Tesla's discoveries still hidden out there? After Nikola Tesla died in 1943, the US government's Office of Alien Property decided to take possession of his documents, given the potential military applications of his work during World War II. It's no secret that Tesla's creative genius was behind some of history's most significant technological achievements. The Death Ray, a powerful particle beam weapon, is one of the many innovations he claimed to have invented. The government's move has given rise to numerous conspiracy theories, with some speculating about what could be contained in the confiscated files. It wasn't until 2016 that the FBI declassified over 250 pages of Tesla-related documents under the Freedom of Information Act. However, many questions still need to be answered, and some of Tesla's files still need to be included. The FBI relied on the evaluation report of Dr. John G. Trump, an electrical engineer from MIT and the uncle of the 45th US president, to determine the worth of Tesla's papers. 
Dr. Trump's analysis showed that Tesla's efforts were primarily speculative, philosophical, and promotional. This analysis conflicted with Brigadier General Elsie Craigie's opinion, who was part of a group of military personnel at Wright-Patterson Air Force Base in Dayton, Ohio. Craigie claimed that there was something to Tesla's ideas and the particle beam weapon was real. Although some of his more sensitive innovations may remain hidden, Tesla's legacy lives on. Even with the declassified documents and conflicting opinions, we may never know the truth behind the confiscated files. What do you think of Tesla's life and legacy? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like it, share it with friends, and subscribe for more.